So our expectations for this race are, of course, very high. They always are. Last year, the boat came first in ORC and third overall. And so if we could beat that, if we could improve on that this year, we'd obviously be delighted. Uh, the weather's looking very challenging, very unstable at the moment. So it's very hard to make a clear picture on how the race is going to play out. Um, but we, you know, if we could do better than last year, last year was pretty impressive when we're then uh, will be delighted and I'll take all the credit because I wasn't on board last year. It's pretty extraordinary. It's incredibly varied. There are highs and there are lows. Uh, there are moments of uh, strong adrenaline, some boredom occasionally. Uh, you have all the emotions wrapped up and, and particularly in this race, you have generally everything in one package. So the, you, this race is quite unique in that you generally find that there are periods of no wind, light wind, strong winds, upwind, downwind. So it really tests you as a sailor. And so I particularly enjoy sailing with the Wild Joe team. Everything is in Hungarian. They're all wonderful. They're all crazy. They all have great energy and, and a passion for the project and a passion for the boat. And they know it very well. And they have done very well. And, uh, and sometimes it's great being the only guy on the boat who doesn't know what anyone is saying. But uh, it's, it's, it can be quite helpful. But no, it's a, it's a complete blend of emotions. You have the excitement, you come to Malta, you know you're doing the race. I would say, my, in my experience of being here for over the last 10 years, there is no middle sea race without the Grand So It's the perfect, it's a combination of a pit stop and a luxury hotel. I mean, what more could you want? The, the, we have, it's, it's perfect for our planning. It's perfect for logistics. Uh, it's very efficient. The hotel, of course, is a fantastic world-class hotel on its own right. But the ability to put the boat in front of the hotel with all of everything we need and to walk from the breakfast room and onto the boat and start working, incredibly efficient. And the service is world-class. You could be behind. You could be losing. You could be not performing as well as you think you should or the opportunities haven't, the, the, you haven't had much luck. This race leads opportunities all on all around the race course, generally. And that's what you do. That's how you keep your motivation because you know, that, okay, we're behind now, but by the time we get to, to Stromboli, there's an opportunity. By the time we get to Japani, there's an opportunity. The boats in front could slow down. We could, you know, find a way around them. And so it I know it's with the pitches, it looks like the boat's not going anywhere and everybody's asleep. <laughs> Nothing's happening. But actually, almost that's the time when you almost work the hardest because if you're only sailing at one knot but you can improve your speed to two knots you've doubled your speed doubled your speed now it's still very slow but you were going twice as fast as you were before and if your competitor hasn't managed to do that now you're really sailing away so it's it there's always opportunities and you have to look at it like that and this is a team that is very good at taking the opportunities